Now, your Alaska Link weather for Juneau and Southeast. Good evening and happy Monday. Rolling out of last week and into this week, spring has definitely felt like it has sprung as we have kept temperatures more than 5 to up to 15 degrees above normal, at least hitting those upper 50s, if not climbing into those 60s. Now, what we're going to continue to watch for is more of this pleasant weather tonight. Staying seasonable, just around 38 for a low in the Juneau area. I don't need some mostly cloudy skies. As we're going to battle the clouds through this week as there is a weak disturbance just to our south even the more southeast that is going to keep some showers in place for the southern panhandle and then some cloud cover entrenched across the portions of the panhandle. There seems to be though this high pressure system, especially areas like Yaktet will break into some sunshine as there's a high towards areas of the Prince William Sound and a high pressure system typically means tranquil weather, clear skies, drier air conditions, and that's going to try to be a bit more dominant through the middle of the week. So there is some potential to bump temperatures back up, even some more of those 60s possible with some sunshine before some rain does return towards the end of the week. As of right now, there has still not seeming to be any big powerful system that is expected to create big concerns here across the panhandle. More just going to get back to some rain showers that will be light at the uh, at the moment. So we'll keep an eye though on any adjustments. Here for our Tuesday, high tide will occur at 1, nearly 1.30 in the morning and then again 2 o'clock on the dot into the afternoon. We roll throughout the day with generally here in the Juno area battling some areas of that cloud cover might be able to break into some better sunshine by the end of the day, especially with some warming as we watch that high temperatures should at least be able to climb into those 50s, lower 50s, especially if we can stay cloudier. Now there is that low pressure system that is to our south that is going to be spinning its way just past the southern panhandle, and that's going to lift in some rain showers there up through potentially Petersburg. But we see that that low by Wednesday morning is going to be working its way off towards the east and then it's going to hold into portions there Canada which might keep some portions here of our southern panhandle within that moisture field however we're not seeing too much when it comes down to precipitation being a wintry accumulation but there still is again some of that light numbers accumulating anywhere from a tenth of an inch to potentially a half an inch for our southern panhandle and again just reaching Petersburg but not too much as the farther north that you move so light accumulation really just kind of some hit or miss disturbances under some of those gray clouds. 15 hours and 8 minutes of daylight is what we're working with, so we broke that 15-hour threshold over the weekend with nearly a just before 5.30 sunrise and an 8.30 sunset. Much of the panhandle does keep those temperatures trying to trend above normal, looking at at least those 40s. Again, breaking into some sunshine will help for those 50s, and then with more sunshine possible, there is a chance that some of those 60s there Wednesday and Thursday before end of the week, we are talking about a return of some of those shower chances, which will keep temperatures a little cool. 